What's for dinner tonight? How does Caesar spaghetti sound? <laughs> Think about it. Garlic and oil spaghetti works, right? Well, tonight, we're gonna take a Caesar salad and sort of twist it up into a new dish. I'm gonna use shredded escarole, toss it together with garlic and oil and a little lemon zest and anchovies that are gonna melt right into the garlic oil so they won't even taste like anchovies anymore. They're just gonna be nutty and salty and delicious. I'm gonna toss it together with some pasta. It is delicious. Cheese all over the top. Mm. So, if you think you don't like anchovies, guys, you're wrong. Melt a few whole anchovies in some olive oil over medium heat and they'll just break up and melt away. You see there, I put several anchovy fillets in some EVOO, extra virgin olive oil, to coat the bottom of a large skillet, and they have literally melted into the oil. Now at this point, they don't taste like anchovies anymore. Seriously, they taste like this really earthy, salty flavor. It's like, more like salted nuts than any sort of seafood flavor. Absolutely delicious. Try this, trust me. Then we're gonna add lots of garlic. The garlic appreciates your support. I chose um, some whole wheat spaghetti to serve with this. It's delicious with regular semolina pasta, of course. But the whole wheat pastas I'm trying to use more and more of because they're so full of protein and fiber. Nutritionally, they're just so good for you. And I like anything that makes me feel really good about having a second bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> so I'm gonna add the garlic down in there and some lemon zest. Hold off on the lemon juice until the dish is fully complete. So it's everything I would put into Caesar salad dressing, essentially. Including the egg, I'm gonna get that and separate it in a minute. So I'm gonna turn this down. It was only on medium, I'm turning it back a bit so the garlic doesn't burn on me. You just want it to get really fragrant and golden. Over here, I'm gonna check my pasta. I have two heads of escarole because they were running small to medium. If they're running huge, one will do ya. Almost there, almost there. It's a little shy of al dente. So the escarole, instead of chopping it, I really more shred it into long strips so it goes in and out of the spaghetti nicely. Okay, we got a big, beautiful pile of escarole. To clean that, I just fill up the kitchen sink with lots of cold water, a big bowl of icy water, hack the bottom off, and give it a little swish, let all the grit fall to the bottom, and then dry it really well. You know why? Because you're gonna put this into your garlic oil to wilt it down, which I'm gonna start doing right now. And what you don't want to happen is the spatter to come back at you. So if this is very wet when you put it in, you're really gonna hurt yourself. So get it as dry as you can, pile it in there, and just let it wilt down in that garlic oil. Now we're gonna put in lots of black pepper. And then the cheese I'm gonna use, um, because Caesar's Roman, you know, at two brute and all that, Cesare and all. Um, I'm gonna do the Pecorino Romano cheese, but it's equally delicious with parm. So whenever I make uh, carbonara or I make this um, Caesar dish, what I do is I just use the egg yolk and I save the egg whites because you can scramble them up for breakfast or pop them into the freezer for another use for baking. Heads up, if you are gonna freeze them, I usually just throw them in a baggie and use them the next morning for a little quick breakfast scramble that's high protein. Um, but if you do pop them in your freezer, you might wanna label it with a Sharpie, otherwise you're gonna be cleaning out the freezer and you just be going, ew, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> so I've got the egg yolk, and what I'm gonna do is, right before we drain the pasta, which is right about now, is almost perfect, I'm gonna save some starchy cooking water, and we've gotta bring the temperature of the egg up. We don't want the egg to cook when we put it into the pan, so we're gonna temper it a little bit. To the egg, I'm gonna add a little bit of the Romano, some more of the black pepper, and then I'm gonna stir in my starchy cooking water. And this we're gonna dump right down over the pasta and the greens all together. And it'll come together as this beautiful sauce. See how our pasta's doing? Leave the cheese out, we're not done with it yet. Get a couple more. Good handfuls in. Perfect. I'm gonna drain this. 
Lean back when you drain your pasta. Otherwise, you end up with a big pasta facial. When you transfer the pasta from the sink over to the pan, you might want to bring a kitchen towel with you, unless you enjoy scalding hot water on your toes. <clears throat> They're thinking about that. They're like, huh. No, I guess I better bring them up in. <laughs> okay, so this is it. Once I add this in, I turn this off, and I have to toss it with our sauce, with a big pair of tongs, for a good solid minute, minute and a half. Now that it's off the heat, we're adding a little bit of lemon juice. You don't want it to bitter and you want it to stay nice and bright. So it's just that final little flourish right before you take it to the table. You have to toss this for a good solid minute for the sauce to thicken up and stick to the pasta. And you end up with just this gorgeous, delicious, nutritious, fantastic <laughs> bowl of spaghetti that tastes just like Caesar salad. I don't know what you're eating, but that's what's for dinner tonight for me. <laughs>